From Harry Potter books to Agatha Christie mysteries and epic African journeys, steam trains take us to places in our imagination as much as to destinations. That is where Rick Buerta and the special company he works for aim to take more of us, more regularly and accessibly. Hello, the Inside ASA. Welcome aboard the Series Rail Company train. Come on in. The trains that we use on this section are typically ex-South African Railways steam locomotives, sometimes combined with diesel locomotives. The example that we use on most days is a Class 19D from 1948, and she's still going strong. The majority of the coaches on this train come from an old train set called the Union Limited, which was run in the late 1980s and 1990s. The interiors on the train were kept very much original in most of the coaches. You can see a lot of the panelling inside the coaches is a Rhodesian teak or the original hardwoods that they would have used across the railways. And we've tried to maintain that authentic railway feel. It brings back a lot of nostalgia in the people that travel with us and that in itself lends to a great experience. With a nose for new adventures, Capitex, Chandre McClalla and friends had already booked. Hey guys, we're from Capitech. We're about to board the steam train to the Algen Railway Market. Join us, it's going to be cool. Let's go. Chandre, her colleague Pumzile Andris and Capitech client Hope and Shangase were dressed with sophistication, but feeling like little kids on a weekend without their parents. The line we run on takes us from Cape Town Harbour through Belleville, Easter River, Somerset West, and then over Solari's Pass, which is 417 metres high and has a tunnel at the top of about 200 metres long. We then go down into the Elgin Valley and stop at the Elgin Railway Market. That actual line that we run on was completed in 1906 all the way as far as Caledon, and today it's generally used for agricultural freight. The slow coach approach suited Pumzile just fine. The journey has been great so far. Great conversation, the staff is very nice, and the views are, are wonderful, so I'm enjoying it, it's very good. So what's really appealing about Capitex digital payments is that you don't need to carry a wallet, you don't need to do lots of bags and things. When you see a QR code, you open up your scan to pay and you scan that. You can use PayMe to split the bill with your friends. And then it's just Instagram all the way. So it's actually perfect for a day like this. Yeah, I live better is making life easy. I'm even spending my cash back today, so it's really good. And yeah. Another payday. Perfect. Better still, waiting for them was this old Apple warehouse, converted into a bustling steampunk art deco market by creative visionary Roger Orpin. I purchased this from the Maltino Brothers Trust, and it was originally built by Italian prisoners of war in the 1940s. It was designed by an architect called Stephen Fry, who actually was a Springbok rugby player. The building was falling to pieces, it was run down, but it had huge potential. And I thought I had to build something really interesting and nice here. So I got cracking and we opened in June 2018 and we haven't looked back. When I started researching what I wanted to do in this place, I started using Art Deco and Art Nouveau as a means to inspire me. With the ironwork that we clad the building with and we constructed all the fixtures, the fittings, the railings, the corbels, we started our own engineering workshop and we made absolutely everything ourselves. So it creates more of a unique experience. This is the beast. We get 480 degrees temperature down here. The smoke travels up here into the chamber and then out through there. And by the time it gets to the top, we're down to 60 degrees. So essentially we've taken 400 degrees out of this wonderful beast. It dissipates into the whole room and it keeps the place warm. The arrival of the old steam train is as exciting for crowds watching as those disembarking. We've just arrived here at the market. We can't wait to check out what Elgin has to offer us. Let's get some food in our bellies, guys. I'm yeah, starving, I'm guys. <laughs> 
decades of conceiving film sets, then bringing them to life, prepared Roger for creating the market and attracting a fascinating cast to inhabit it. I'm Charlie Solms, I'm uh, the Solms Forge. I make uh, coat hooks and brag equipment, especially little spades and scrapers. The equipment that I'm using is dated mid-1800s. This is a bellows from 1875, refurbished with new leather. Other than that, it's original. The anvil I work on is a Wilkinson's, also roughly 1890. So I'm refurbishing them for the trade. Fashion of all kinds is on offer, together with jewelry, kids' toys, and leather goods, amongst which some exceptional footwear sold by Lynn October. Our shoes are handmade, as you can see it's proper leather, like the cow leather and the kuda leather, and what makes it so lovable is all the colours that we have. Ashton Elijah offers a similar range in olives. Our olives are so popular just because they are removed the bitterness which is in the olives and then they are infused in different flavors. We have kalamata and brine, sun-dried tomato, garlic and herb and Mediterranean. We also have tabernate paste and then we have olive oil and infused oil. All of them are absolutely divine. Then there are artisanal gins by Isabel Huxter and friends. We have three friends that distill this gin. We were inspired by the local produce growing in our area. So we've got locally grown juniper that we use in our gin. And then we use the apples, the blueberries, the lemons and other botanicals. The three of us do the distillation, the bottling, the labelling. And then we produce a range of craft gins which is available at the market on weekends. It was Neapolitan pizzas which won the popular vote. And as quick and simple as payment was, those pizzas came together just as fast and deliciously. It's been a brilliant day today. We had some really great food. The pizza was an absolute bop. The music yeah. was amazing. It was live and I didn't expect that. So that Good for me... Good dancing as well. Yeah. yeah <laughs> yes. That was absolutely key for me. And the train ride was absolutely breathtaking. The views were great, the conversations were great. I think we had so much fun yeah, coming yeah, here. Um, I don't think it would have been possible without the Live Better Savings. So that definitely put a hop in my step. You couldn't have done this without Live Better. With a world of wondrous South African tastes, escapes and experiences on offer this season, all that remains is to choose what suits you. Tell us how you plan to live better this winter and stand a chance to win a thousand rand. Simply reply to the competition post on the Insider Essay social media platforms using hashtag Capitech Live Better. T's and C's apply and can be found on the Insider Essay website. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.